What up, folks? So, today, we're going to do some ink stitch. I had a viewer email me asking for help on importing a pre-digitized font. This can be tricky, no doubt about it. Email goes, Hi, Low Tech Linux. I hope you're doing well. I am, and thank you for asking. I also hope you are doing well also, too. I've been following your tutorial on letter to font and trying to get a pre-digitized diamond font to show up in my lettering tool, but I can't seem to get it work. Get it to work. Slow down a little bit. I've watched your video multiple times, carefully followed each step, but I'm stuck. Okay. It happens. Even, yeah. Here's what I did. The file came zipped, included the STMB and Zoo. That's Z00, by the way. Zoo. I created a folder with only the .dst files. The font only has uppercase letters. Okay, good to know. I used letter to font, selected the .dst files, and since there weren't any symbols, I didn't make any changes. I resized it. I also tried without resizing and saved it as a backup. Okay. I saved it again using right arrow. Mm, bonus points right here. I copied and pasted it from the comment you posted. That is my right arrow, therefore I know it is the right, or the, or the correct right arrow. Okay, awesome. So far, so good. Generated JSON file, uploaded it, unchecked, auto sat and reversible, hit apply. Despite all this, nothing appears in the lettering tool. Maybe. I'll get more to that in a minute. I'm attaching the right arrow file and full zip font file for reference. Really appreciate any advice or suggestions. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for emailing me, and I have no problem with, I love this sort of thing. And Ink Stitch is awesome, so I like, I, I don't program, so my contribution to Ink Stitch is the educational aspect. So, happy to do it. Okay, downloaded the zip file, which is this one, and the resulting extract gives me the diamond font folder, which is the one they got, and... The, they created the SVG from the DSTs. We're going to take a look at that real quick, see what that structure looks like. Interesting design. Hmm. Um, we're going to hide that. It's not a rule or anything, but it's good to hide all of the letters. And then when you use letter to font, it'll bring the letter up for you. It's, it's, not a rule or it's it's just my personal preference but i do want to see some more of these because that was interesting that's interesting oops gotta hide that one. Ooh, look at that okay um we're gonna quit looking at it and we're, it looks to me like like it's right it really does it looks to me like i think from what I can tell, you're 90% there. You're close. You're ever so close. So what I'm going to do is that for one. What else I'm going to do is I'm going to take what you have here. Let me close this out real quick. I'm going to take what you have here, this, this forward SVG. I didn't save that, did I? That's fine. Like I said, not a rule. This I'm going to take this forward right arrow SVG that you have here, and I'm going to... I'm going, to, I'm going to treat it like I've been working on it and I've gotten to this point and I'm going to continue from this point on. There might be just some small little minor detail that you're missing to make it not work. Does that make sense? I think you're there. I really do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if you don't have... I'm assuming that you have a custom ink, uh, ink stitch font folder. If you don't, you need to get one, need to make one. So in ink stitch and font management, custom font directory. This is where you set your custom font directory. In my case, it is in the documents folder. And then I have another folder inside documents called ink stitch custom fonts. And that's where my ink stitch custom fonts reside. So I'll just select that because that's where I have it. You can create, you can name it anything you want to, and you can have it anywhere you want to, as long as it's, as long as you have user writing privileges. You know what any of that means? 
hit apply. I already did that. Okay, so what that does for me is this is my Ink Stitch custom font folder right here. My college is in there, and I also did my own little 3D puff college. And then the bar text, I can't remember why I have that in here, but it's in here. One of the benefits to this is you can you can take no matter how many fonts you have in here you can take this folder put it on another computer with ink stitch tell ink stitch to use this the same folder as your custom font folder and all of those fonts that are in your folder will be there it that is very cool okay so diamond font which is this right arrow right here I'm going to go ahead and copy that right right click copy we we'll come in here right click your computer whatever computer you're on some of these are going to be a little different but basically inside your custom custom fonts folder create another folder we're going to call that diamond and I'm going to edit it because I didn't spell it right as soon as I find okay rename diamond all right so there's my diamond folder and inside this diamond folder I'm going to paste that right arrow SVG file okay we're almost there okay from here we're gonna fire up inks inkscape if it's not already you do not have to have the file that you're using you know you do not have to have that right arrow file load it up in order to do the next part which is create the JSON go to ink stitch font management create uh, generate JSON so from here we're going to generate a new JSON for this and we're going to name it diamond and diamond we're going to point it to that diamond right arrow SVG so far so good no errors um I don't think any of this applies we'll go into settings you said it's uh capital letters only so force letter case is going to be upper um auto route satin don't think so not reversible not sortable I don't believe and then kerning we're just going to leave everything else on default it should be it it should give us a working something to work with hit apply it is done hit close so now what we need to do is try it see if something shows up so if I go to lettering on this drop down I want to see diamond since it's alphabetical order at least on my machine there is diamond so it is working at this point I should be able to type small letters and get a capital F yes it does outstanding we have a working file but what isn't working is we don't have a preview that's why I said earlier you said it wasn't showing up I just want to make sure that it is that it's not actually showing up but you can't see it because there's no preview because you have to create the preview so see if in your list there is a diamond listing without a preview so now we're going to set a preview Okay, so in order to do a preview, a preview needs to be 75 px tall, if I remember right. The rest of it, we'll just kind of wing it from there. What we're going to do is, we're going to do, nope, we're going to do this, then ink stitch lettering, go to lettering. We're going to select the new diamond lettering that we just created. And then from here, we're going to type diamond, spelling diamond. There's our preview of a diamond of a diamond font, more or less. We could do it straight from here. Hit apply and quit. Because when you do it from here, it doesn't really look like the font we picked, right? Exactly. So a couple ways we can do it. We can do it from, from the the lettering pick pick uh, picker. 
what I'm going to do is go to Ink Stitch and visualize, simulate. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. And I have to. Why is it doing that? Okay, that's fine. Let's do uh, this. Pixel. It doesn't matter. Inches. 10 inches doesn't matter. Bring it down. Now. Now we're going to preview again. Oh. Okay. So from here, what I'm going to do is wait for it to get done. Hit print screen on my computer because on my computer that works to create a screenshot. Do whatever you got to do to create a screenshot and on mine, I can also edit that screenshot, use some kind of edit tool so that you can crop. I'm going to crop. I just want mostly just this diamond. Just like that. And then close that. Uh, I didn't save it. So let me do that again. Export, nope, edit. Big enough to see, crop, let me try this again. Something like so. Now, enter, now, save. 1784, 1748, 44. Hit close, hit close. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to import, file, import the screenshot we just took, which is that one. Open, OK. Now, the, the preview needs to be two things. It needs to be 75 pixels tall. So, 75 pixels tall. I don't think length matters I don't think and then we need to export this I'm going to export it straight to that working file working folder so ink stitch custom fonts diamond and I want to ins want to export it as preview.png preview.png hit save so now Remember if I have to restart Inkscape or not, but now we should have a preview. Ink stitch, lettering. Do the drop down. There it is. It's not very good, but there it is. Not sure why it's not good. Oh, yes, I do. I do know why it's not good. Okay, so look at my little preview. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can bring up a zoom. Okay, so this. This is the preview, and the preview is actually showing me that I'm doing it wrong. And um, this button, yeah. See how how small that lettering is in, with so much space around it? That's telling me I'm doing it wrong. So what it is, in Inkscape, you can select the page to export, which is all of this extra white background or document. Now, the document's what you want. See how much better that is? That's much better. Okay. So that's what you want. And, and I'm going to go ahead and just do the same save and just export right over the top of it. Yes, replace. Now, we should be looking good. Ink stitch lettering. Um, drop down. And there it is. Diamond. Little diamond in the rough. Outstanding. Love it. So everything's good now we can select diamond we can do diamond it doesn't matter what case you type it in because it is case it is uppercase only according to the json that we created everything should be good from here it's just you know little little paper cuts as as katie says little paper cuts to to make it better but everything seems to be working on my end you had it 90 percent there every bit of it so good job on getting to that point i hope this video helps you out please follow along in this video and 
see if there is a step that you missed as you're following along but i am also going to send you back this folder in a zip file so that you can have it if something if you do everything and it still doesn't work try putting my folder in your custom custom stitch uh, custom ink stitch fonts folder and see if it works for you then i don't know other than that i don't know but you know thanks for hitting me up for help i hope this helps please let me know i'd love to know and that is all for this video and as always thank you so much for watching